Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have square root of m divided by m is equals to 3 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here we solve this problem for two methods and I hope so uh, you like both of these methods uh, but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. Now, uh, in the first method, uh, we need to cross multiply the terms. You see here the denominator of this term is 1. And when we cross multiply the terms, it means that we multiply this n with this 3 and this 1 with this square root of n. So, after cross multiplication, we will get here 1 multiplied by square root of m is equals to 3 multiplied by m. And further in the next step, uh, you see here uh, after simplification we will get here square root of m is equals to 3 times of m and because we solve this problem for the values of m uh, for this we need to uh, eliminate this square root sign from uh, left hand side so in order to uh, eliminate this square root sign we need uh, to taking uh, squaring on both of the sides. So when we taking squaring, uh, it will be written as uh, after taking squaring over the over above equation, it will become the square root of m and its whole square is equals to three times of m and its whole square. So this two and this square root are gone, and we will get here in the left hand side is m is equals to and here we have the square of 3 is equals to 9 and the square of m is equals to m square and now further in the next step we move this m to the right hand side and it will be written as 9 times of m square this is positive m when we move in the right hand side it will become negative m and this whole equation is equals to 0 and you see here both of these terms involve m so that we will take common m from here and after taking common m we will get here 9 times of m minus 1 when we take common this m here we get 1 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write m is equals to 0 and uh, uh, the second case is we write 9m minus 1 is equals to 0. So this is the first root of the given equation and from here we get the second root of given equation for this uh, we need to move all the other terms to the right hand side for this first we move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will be written as 9m is equals to plus 1. This is minus 1 when we move in the right hand side it will become plus 1. And we solve this problem for the values of m for this we need to remove this 9 from left hand side for this we divide both of the sides by 9 and you see here this 9 is cancelled out by this 9 and we will get here the second value of m is equals to 1 divided by 9 so this is the second root of the given equation and because here our given equation is a radical equation, this means that we need to verify both of these roots. And here we check that which of these roots are solution and which one of these roots are extraneous root of the given equation. So here uh, for the <coughs> verification of the roots, uh, we need to first copy down the given equation here. The given question statement is square root of m divided by m is equals to 3 and here we divide this into the two cases here we check uh, m is equals to 0 and here we check m is equals to 1 over 9. So here we check the behavior of both of these two roots. So that when we put this value of m is equals to 0 into the given equation and you see here this is square root of 0 divided by 0 is equals to 3 and you see here square root of 0 becomes 0 over 0 is equals to 3 and we know that 0 over 0 is the indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is undefined so when this 0 is undefined uh, 
so it means that the value of m is equal to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so here uh, we, we can just say that uh, m equals to 0 uh, be the uh, m equals to 0 is extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is not the solution it is the extraneous root okay m equals to 0 be the extraneous root because uh, we know about that extraneous root is the root which do, which do not satisfy our given question statement okay so this is the extraneous root and now here in the same pattern we verify our second root m is equals to uh, 1 over 9 so when you put this value here it will be written as 1 over 9 square root divided by 1 over 9 is equals to 3 and here we know that when we have fraction to the fraction so we uh, we can just move this term to the upside and it is that taking the reciprocal and we know that the square root of 1 is 1 and the square root of 9 is 3 and this will be written as 9 over 1 is equals to 3 and you see here this is 3 times of 3 becomes 9 and we get here 3 is equals to 3 so this shows that the value of m is equals to 1 over 9 is satisfied over given question statement so m equals to 1 over 9 be the solution of the given equation and now here in the next step we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we uh, just copy down our given question statement here so given question statement is a square root of m divided by m is equals to 3 and in second method uh, here we know that if you have two uh, if you have uh, this two we uh, write uh, this two as square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 2 okay so this is our m in the same pattern uh, we write our m as square root of m we write this m as square root of m multiplied by square root of m is equals to 3 and you see here this m is cancelled out by this m and we move this square root of m to the right hand side and in the left hand side we will get here 1 is equals to 3 times of square root of m so here for the values of m we need to take the scaling on both of the sides uh, in order to uh, remove the square sign and here we know that the square of 1 is equals to 1 and the square of 3 is equals to 9 and these two and square root are gone and we get here m only and here uh, in order to find the value of m we move this 9 to the right hand side and we will get here 1 over 9 is equals to m so in the second method uh, we uh, get here the value of m is also equals to 1 over 9 which we get here the same answer in uh, first method and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos